Hey peeps, today I'm here with a quick tutorial on my latest style, which are these super cute Neezy Jumbo Box Braids. So starting out, my natural hair is stretched to make it easier to work with. I'm going to go ahead and make all my sections for the braids by parting my hair to make large squares. So I've done my first section and now I'm taking some of this coconut oil hair food and I'm going to use that to grease my parts because you always want a well nourished scalp especially with a braided style like this. Next I'm using this extra hole jam and I'm placing it pretty much all over my roots. Brush it so it's all smooth and gather the hair together. Then I'm going to use some thin elastic bands and I like using these as opposed to rubber bands because they're easier on the hair and they're a lot more durable and I'm going to make a ponytail with these. And you can see by using the jam it's super sleek and flat and that's what's really going to help the finished style come out looking especially neat. So I'm continuing with sectioning my hair and I knew I wanted the option of a middle part so I did that and I kind of used that as a guide to then create the rest of the ponytails around it. And again I'm making large square sections, greasing my scalp, adding on the jam. And around the front, I'm leaving out a little bit of my edges so I can shape them at the end when I'm all done. Brush it all smooth. Then bring it all together. And what I like to do is a little twist move, as you can see here, to make sure it stays extra flat at the roots and put it up into a ponytail. Now the good thing about this is that even if the sections aren't perfect, it'll still come out looking nice. I try to make mine as even as possible, but some were still bigger than others. But the main thing I think is just getting those ponytails super sleek and flat and make the parts as neat and as straight as you can get them. So even if they're not totally uniform, it still won't take away from the finished style. So now that that part's all done, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize with this Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine Cream. I'm applying a good amount of that all over my hair and laying it on pretty thick on the ends. Then I'm taking some more of this grease and applying that right on top to seal in the moisture because I want to make sure that while it's in this style, my real hair stays hydrated and healthy. Okay, so to make the box braids, I'm using this 26 inch pre-stretched braiding hair. And I got this from my local beauty supply store for $1.99 a pack. As for how much hair to use, what I did was I took each pack and I divided it in half. Then I took one of those halves and divided it in half again. And that's the amount of hair I used for each braid. So I get four braids out of each pack. Before attaching it, I'm taking out some hair from one of the sides. So now I have three ends coming down instead of two. And I twisted that middle piece around a few times so it all holds together. And I'll show exactly how I did that with the next braid I do. So just watch the next one. And now I'm just combining my real hair with that middle piece from the braiding hair. And I'm making a three strand plait. Now when you start this, you want to make sure you're doing it very tightly so you don't get any slack and the braid is flush with your scalp.
And as I'm moving down, once it starts getting to where my real hair ends, I'm borrowing a bit of hair from the other two sides to make each of the three pieces as equal as I can get them. And I'm gonna braid that all the way down. So we're moving on to the next one. I'm adding on my moisturizer and I'm going to seal that in with grease. Get the braiding hair, take out a section to create three pieces. Wrap that middle piece around to hold it in place. Then attach it to the ponytail by braiding the real hair in with that middle piece and plait all the way down. And as you go, borrow hair as necessary to keep the braid uniform. Now that all the braids are done, I'm going through with some scissors to snip away the flyaway braiding hair and just clean it all up. I'm applying some edge control around the front of my hair and then I'm going to brush and shape my edges. And to finish it all off, I'm sealing the ends by dipping the braids in some hot water. As far as moisturizing goes, because as some of you know, I'm on a healthy hair journey right now, I'm going to be spraying these braids twice a day with a conditioner, oil, and water mix. And this is the final look. So this style took me about three hours total to do. The most tedious part was sectioning my hair and making sure the parts look decent, but 
Once I did that and all the ponytails were in, it went by really quick. I have 26 braids all together, which equaled out to six and a half packs of the hair. And um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying this style so far. It's so easy and low maintenance and it's affordable. And I also really like the length. It hits right below my waist, which is exactly the look I was going for. So the 26 inches was perfect for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll catch up with you soon on my next video. Bye.